I am Anil Kumar on request of my subscribers. I am sharing with you a couple of videos on one sided limits. Now, in this particular video, we have taken piecewise functions as an example. Question is find limit when x approaches 2 from the left side. So, so on the power, what we have here is minus, right? There's no and this is plus here. So let me read this again. Find limit as x approaches 2 from the left side for the function f of x. Find limit when x approaches 2 from the right side. That plus on the top indicates right side for the function f x. Limit when x approaches 2 for f of x and the value of the function at 2, that is f of 2, if they exist. These are two examples for you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my solution. Now, what I will do here is kind of sketch the graph. That's the best way to do. So we'll sketch the graph of both of them, one by one. You can pause the video, sketch the graph, and then find the answer, right? Now, there are three pieces for the first one. The first piece is when x is less than 2. That is to say, if, uh, let me just say, this point is 2 for us, right? This is 2 for us. When x is less than 2 means on the left side of 2, the value of the function is minus 1, right? So let's say this is minus 1. So, so not included means a whole and kind of like this, right? And this value is minus 1. So that is first piece. The second one here is that the value of the function is half of x if x is greater than 2, right? If x is greater than 2. So if I write 2 here, I get a value of 1, okay? So at 2 it is 1. Uh, let's say this is 4 for us, okay? So at 4 it is 2. So at 4 it is 2. So I could have uh, something like this. Does it make sense to you? Right. So that is the second piece, when x is greater than 2. The third piece is x equals to 2 when the function is x. Well, that really means that at 2, the value is 2, right? So the value is 2. Let's say this is 2 for us. So, so we have a filled-in circle at 2, right? So this, this is at 2. Now I think it's very simple to answer the questions. We are looking for answers for a couple of things here. One is limit when x approaches 2 from the left side for the function, right? We are looking for limit as x approaches 2 from the right side for the given function. We are looking for the limit at 2 itself, x equals to 2 for the function. We are looking for the value of the function that is f of 2. Is that okay? These things. Okay. So I'll write down their answers for the piecewise function a on the left side for b on the right side. What is the limit of this function when you are approaching 2 from the left side? So if you are approaching from the left side, you are going to hit this part and reach at minus 1. So this answer is equal to minus 1. From the right side, you are going to hit this straight line and you'll reach plus 1. So this one is plus 1 for you. Limit at 2. You can see a jump discontinuity. Limit does not exist as 2. From left side, it is minus 1. From right side, it is plus 1. They are not same. Since these two values are different, this one does not exist. The value of function at 2 is given to us as 2, right? So. That is a value function at 2. Perfect. So that is how you could answer questions based on piecewise functions for limits. Now let's look into the second part. f of x is square root of x minus 2 when x is greater than or equal to 2. Right. So let's sketch this function greater than or equal to 2. That means square root function has been translated 2 units to the right. Okay. 
And here we have a function which is absolute x divided by x when x is greater than 0, not equal to, and less than 2. So in between that value. In between this, this value will always be 1, right? So, so 1, okay. Uh, so it'd be kind of like this. Is it okay? At 2 also it'd be 1, correct? So this value is 1. Now, you know the function, the graph of the function, very easy to read and write. So let's write down all the values. For the limit, when you approach from the left side of 2, you are actually on this part of the graph, you approach 1, so this side is 1. When you are approaching from the right side, you are coming along this path and you approach 0, so this is 0. Limit from right side of 2 for the given function. Since these two are different, you can see this limit does not exist. The value of the function at 2 is, is given greater than equal to 2, right? So at 2, I can substitute 2 here and get 0. So the value of the function at 2 is 0. So these are the answers for the given question. I would like you to now take this as your test problem and answer these questions. We are taking a function, let's say g of, let's say, no, we use f, so let's use f of x as equal to x, we want to start from here, minus 2, whole squared divided by x minus 2. Is it okay? So for this particular function, I would like you to answer all these parts. Limit of this function when x approaches 2 from the left side, limit of this function when x approaches 2 from the right side, value of the function at 2 and limit of the function at 2. Perfect. Well, here is a quick solution. I'm not giving reasons for that. And, uh, okay, so it is kind of x minus 2. So you'll get a graph which will be it is discontinuous at 2. It is discontinuous at 2. So, and it's kind of like this. Okay, let me draw the graph for you. So, this is your function f of x for which you have to provide all these answers. So, what you note here is the value of the function at 2, that is, f of 2 does not exist. However, Limits from left and right are both 0 and the limit at 2 exists, which is 2. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.